Biography of the Prophet Muhammad Illustrated, Volume 1. Comic book is now available in English, Arabic, Hindi, and Indonesian. The author's pen name, Abdullah Ibn Saad Ibn Abi Saad. Why did he choose his pseudonym? Who is the real Abdullah Ibn Saad Ibn Abi Saad? In his comic strip, you will know the real Abdullah Ibn Abi Saad. Muhammad conquered Mecca in 630 AD with an army of about 10,000. He ordered his military commanders only to kill people who fight them. But secretly, the hypocrite prophet gave them a list of six Mecca civilians to be killed. The following oh, are those six people. At last my dream comes true. Abdul Uzzah bin Akhtal left Islam. Muhammad changed his name to Abdullah when bin Akhtal was a Muslim a singer who used to mock Muhammad when he still lived in Mecca. A second singer who used to mock Muhammad in Mecca. Ikrima ibn Abu al-Hakam, al Huwari bin Naqib bin Wahab, Abdullah ibn Saad ibn Abisar. But why Muhammad wanted to kill ibn Sar? Ibn Sar was a young man from Quraysh tribe, from the rich Umayyad family who ruled over the tribe. He was the half-brother from breastfeeding of Uthman ibn Affan, the third caliph. He believed that Muhammad was a prophet and became a Muslim. He left Mecca to immigrate to Medina. I am a Muslim now and I want to be with my prophet. Muhammad appointed him to be his scribe because Bin Sar was an educated person. But after knowing Muhammad and Muslims, he was not impressed and started to doubt Muhammad's prophecy. Quran Surah 3 verse 132 And obey Allah and the Messenger that you may obtain mercy. Hmm. Is that really true? One day Muhammad asked him to write Quran Surah Al-Mu'minun verse 14. Write down Quran Surah Al-Mu'minun verse 14. Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Then of that clot we made a lump. Then we made out of that lump bones and clothed the bones with flesh. Then we developed out of it another creature. Then Muhammad stopped speaking. It seemed Allah had finished his sentence. But then Bin Sar continued, So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Write it, write it down. Yes, that is how it was descended to me. Muhammad liked what Bin Sar said, since it fits the rhyme of the Quran. At this moment, Bin Sar was completely sure that Muhammad is not a prophet, and he just made up Quran verses in his head. This is nothing but a joke. After that, Bin Sar left Muhammad and Medina and went back to Mecca. Hmm. If Muhammad is a prophet, then I can be a prophet as well. <laughs> then he told the Quraysh people in Mecca, I manipulated Muhammad as I pleased. If he said all wise, then I said all knowing. He would agree with everything I said and ask me to write it down in Quran. That's right. That is how Quran was written. That is why Muhammad had grudge against Bin Sar. Who is more wicked than the man who invents a falsehood about God or says, this was revealed to me when nothing was revealed to him? Or the man who says, I can reveal the like of what God has revealed? When the Muslim army entered Mecca, Abdul al Uza bin Akhtal knew that Muhammad resented him and would kill him. Mashallah! I'm in grave danger. He ran to Kaaba to find sanctuary. As Rasul Allah, Muhammad won't shed blood in Allah's house. Bin Akhtal tied himself with the ropes at Kaaba. The Muslim soldiers hesitated to kill him. Wow, we cannot kill him in this very holy place. The Muslim soldiers reported to Muhammad. Kill him! The Kaaba has never been used to protect a rebel. Okay, Prophet.
After that, Muslim soldiers such as Sa'ad bin Arit, Abu Barsa, Al-Zubir, Sa'ad bin Swab, Sa'ad bin Zaid, mutilated bin Akhtal to death. <laughs> In Quran, Muhammad repeatedly said that he loved and feared Allah, that Allah loved him the most. But was that true? Allah killed Muhammad's father when Muhammad was still in the womb. Allah killed his mom when he was still five years old. Allah killed Muhammad's grandpa when Muhammad was still eight years old. Allah killed Muhammad's first son, Qasim, at the age of two. His second son, Tahir Abd Munaf, at the age of two. And his third son, Ibrahim, from his Jaria, Maria Kiptia, at the age of two. His hope to have a son vanished. That is why Muhammad hated Allah. He shed blood in Kaaba to insult Allah. When Ibn Sar heard about the death of Bin Akhtal, he became very scared. The so-called prophet would surely kill me. Bin Sar asked his stepbrother, Usman bin Affan, to hide him. Hide yourself for a while. When the situation calmed down, Usman took Bin Sar to meet Muhammad to ask for forgiveness. He is my brother. Please show some mercy on him. Muhammad was quiet for a long time. He knew that Usman would be offended if he ordered his army to kill Bin Sar. Since there is no reaction from Muhammad, Bin Sar left him. Hmm, how oh, odd. Usually he always wants to avenge. But then Muhammad scolded his army. I was silent for a long time, but why didn't any one of you kill Bin Sar? Muslim soldier said, I stared the whole time at your eyes, but you did not wink or give any signal. A prophet should not wink. Because of that, Bin Sar was not killed, although Muhammad intended to kill him. Muhammad said about himself correctly in Quran Surah Al-Kalam verse 4. You are verily born of sublime nature. We have seen your sublime nature clearly for what you have done with Bin Akhtal and Bin Sa'ad.